A little more than a week ago, the Mackinac State Historic Parks tweeted a picture that went viral. But what's the story behind that photo? Corey Adkins found out for this week's Northern Michigan in Focus. The photograph taken in 1856 is the oldest known photograph of the Straits of Mackinac region, taken by Reinhard Wernig um, in the summer of 56, who was staying on the island. He was a professional photographer. There's a lot going on in this photo by Reinhard Wernig. We'll start with the house on the left. Um, he was guests of the Saltonstall family. In the photograph, the large columned house to the left, a stately Greek revival home, that's where he was staying. Uh, the Salton Stalls were renting that house from the Abbott family. Back in the day, the Abbott family was kind of a big deal on the island. The Abbott family were prominent Mackinac Island businessmen and, and politicians. Judge Abbott had built the home, one of the finest homes of the day when he built it, but he had uh, recently passed away, and um, the home was then in the, uh, under the ownership of his brother, who was renting it out that summer. Next, if you look down the picture, you'll see many landmarks that are still there. A Biddle House is, is visible in the photograph, the old courthouse with its cupola, the um, warehouse of the American Fur Company, and of course in the distance Fort Mackinac. And that's what the photographer said he was trying to get a good picture of. When it was time for Reinhard to leave, he gave the Saltonstall family this copy of the original. No one knows where that original is, but it could be on the bottom of Lake Michigan. He left Mackinac Island, uh, headed for Chicago with his wife aboard the steamer Niagara. Later on, shortly after leaving Sheboygan, Wisconsin, uh, the Niagara caught fire and the photographer and his wife perished aboard along with many others. And so any other photographs that he had taken on Mackinac Island that summer probably went up in flames and sank with the ship. 60 people died that day. Then a few years later, the Abbott house burned to the ground. So next time you see a picture floating around the internet, you may want to ask yourself, what's the story behind the photo? Without this, you know, 1856, the next oldest photograph on the island probably dates from at least 10 years later that we know of. So this is you know, a real treasure. For Northern Michigan in Focus, I'm Corey Adkins.